Hello everyone. I'd like to chat to you today about the change space command within AutoCAD. It's very useful in certain instances. One that I like because I'm a little bit obsessive compulsive is to draw center lines on my viewports. Now on a layout a viewport would have a scale in this case 1 is to 20 and if one had to draw a center line such that it extrudes exactly 20 millimeters across the drawn object then one has to keep in mind that one has to draw this within the model space to scale that's of course assuming that what one prints will only be printed once at one scale on one page otherwise it would extend different lengths now, I don't like to scale when I'm drawing I'm a bit lazy in this sense so I draw on the paper space just as I've done over here but in the case that I need the central line in model space what I then do is use the change space command you'll find it on the modified tab there's change space select the object and we're done looking at the model space the center line has been projected into the model space very simple very easy on the other hand one may also project it the other way I find that easiest to go straight through the viewport and change space again there's the center line and it's not part of the model space anymore quite a powerful little tool I also use this when I draw details let's suppose for instance that I was interested in a corner of this component so there was some other detail that I'd like to focus on here and blow it up next door to this then what I usually do is draw some sort of circle about the size that I want I know that this view is 1 is to 20 so let's suppose I want to blow it up um, to twice that so in other words I'd want to have a scale of 1 is to 10 then I'd copy this item scale it twice change it into a viewport by choosing a viewport from object command now you can see there's no reference circle as drawn on the paper space there we go have to set the target viewport it didn't automatically take the one below the object then within my other viewport I use a zoom command and I zoom to object selecting that circle that represents the area that I'm interested in almost does it perfectly 0.0989 8, 9, the scale 
If I set that to 1 is to 10, it is now perfect. So that is a very nice way to create viewports. And one could even illustrate that by drawing a little tangent to tangent. of the blow up so use the change space command to project objects from your paper space onto your model space and vice versa and also note that you can do some good details using change space as well as creating viewports from objects and zooming into objects Enjoy AutoCAD until next time.